RLCS Season 4 ended a couple months ago, and RLCS Season 5 was just announced to come in a couple months. We haven't had a major update in a while, and things seem pretty stagnated right now as we find ourselves in the thick of the offseason. As a content creator, I want to use this time to provide original content with valuable insights, tips, guides, and recaps to help the community grow. But as a mediocre YouTuber with too much free time, I'd rather give you a comprehensive analysis on Rocket League Pro walkouts. Approaching the stage, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Denial! Since season one of RLCS, walkouts were designed to be a hype pre-match moment where players can show their true colors, where they can be scrutinized by both fans and commentators. Walkouts are a chance to get to know the players and to see their personalities for a few brief moments. Walkouts sometimes even feature a popular player's face reveal. For many of them, it may be the first time they've ever been outside. I'm sure a lot of us can relate. But sometimes this moment is not exactly a top priority for our favorite Rocketeers. Today, we take a closer look at the best and worst of RLCS walkouts. It's always great when an in-game topper makes an appearance, like Corrupted G donning his signature pirate hat. With his pirate hat topper, there's a few of us, you know, who, who don't really like that topper. We think it's a little bit ugly, but uh, Corrupted G, he rocks it well. Or this past season when we saw Metzanaris bring on his propeller hat. There we go. Oh, right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Definitely an improvement uh, on the walkout, but these guys are RG. But of course, no one does it better than Jacob, who's been bringing out his signature foam hat topper since season and one. Representing North America, Kings of Urban. To counter Jacob's flashy entrance, Marky from Flipside Tactics attempted a mind game of his own back in season one. Flipside did win the match. Fast forward to season three. Greasy brings back the mind game. Uh -oh. Jacob Thunder rocking that foam hat. The mind game's already here. It's like they did that exact same thing in season one. But it didn't work this time. His energy got their revenge. Season four saw Jacob step up his walkout game even more. But walkouts aren't always what they're hyped up to be, because they cause hype. Speaking of hype, have you ever tried to get your friends to jump on the hype train, but they've already booked two tickets to Uber Shy and Reserved? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Because and you don't know true fear until you look into Espeon's eyes when his teammates weren't walking to their seats in season two. So it has to happen. This is a double elimination tournament. One of these teams will have to go home. One of these teams will move on to the next round. Yes, Genesis, you can go take your seats if you want. Espeon looks very confused. Go ahead, Espeon, there you go. <laughs> so, NRG versus Genesis. Here, Gale Force seems sort of like they want to hype up the crowd. No, no, they're just going to stand there. Go! Ah, yes, Ghost. Nothing gets me hyped like three or four shoulder shrugs. Oh, yeah, that really gets me going. I guess it, I guess it didn't really work for Gibbs, though. We're still seeing these terrible intros, man. We need some props. Yeah, that's <laughs> go! But the next day, they did end up stepping it up, though. Everybody loves t-shirts. Who doesn't love t-shirts? And look at that toss. Oh, that was there we go, Classics. That was, was a good fun. arm. That was oh, much man, better than James throwing like you guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I was Next, we have probably one of the best moments in all of our LCS. Gentlemen, I'm going to need you to join me over here. Gentlemen. Now you might be cringing, but at least you're not in physical pain like the victim of the next walkout. G2 
As we see here, JNAP struggled a little bit to find his spot on the stage, but then Rizzo comes and takes over with this this very erotic dance and kind of kind of salvages it there. Every time JNAP comes out, though, he gets lost. He's supposed to walk to the end of the stage, JNAP. I think there was nothing about Rizzo that felt lost there. G2 the fan favorite <laughs> JNAP. You can see him amping up the crowd. But JNAPS is pretty eager to recover here, and he goes and hypes up the crowd by essentially tapping on this inflatable boomstick here. Yeah, he really taps that baton, and the crowd does go nuts. There he goes. The wandering puppy himself, JNAPS. He, he made it. And lastly, we got a show, probably the most hyped walkout in RLCS history, featuring Matt Turtle and Sizz. Now that's a walkout right there. And part two. So as you can see, we have a lot of room to improve. And going forward, I think we can all agree we'd love to see some more creative, exciting walkouts. Until then, we'll just have to keep reliving these moments. If you enjoyed this quality shit post, make sure to subscribe and uh, for more quality content. Good luck out there.